The next thing we're going to look at in terms of developing and training explosive offense for our group is what we're actually doing with the arm swing. We do things a little bit differently here in terms of our technical cues and our technical package for hitting. And uh, hopefully there will be some details here that you'll find intriguing and maybe implement with your team. The first thing we talk about is the actual jumping mechanic as we're preparing to get into the air. And a lot of times a player that's going to hit will jump really with one arm, their hitting arm. And they'll leave their other arm really low. This encourages a lower jump reach, but it also uh, encourages a big shoulder tilt before they go to hit the ball. And once they get out of balance with their shoulder tilt, it's hard for them to have good reach, it's hard to have good hand-eye coordination, and it's really hard on their shoulder as their body moves away from that hitting motion. So the first thing that we do is talk about both elbows and arms and hands getting up into the air, and this is the drive move to the draw move. Driving is taking your elbows and hands back hard, and then draw is getting both elbows up high by the ear. So this is what drive draw looks like for both hitters. Good, drive draw, and again, drive draw. This cannot be rehearsed enough. This cannot be practiced enough, and it seems so simple to them as hitters. And it seems like a detail that, oh, of course I can do it, coach. I can do it every time. But as soon as they'll watch themselves in video when you put a ball into the air, most hitters will initially jump to this point. Okay, low elbows, low reach, tilted, poor power as they get through the ball. We want to be able to hit that ball at peak reach, but we also want to be able to hit the ball fast. Arm speed equals hand speed, hand speed equals concussion and power into the ball. We want to move our arm and hand as fast as we can through that ball. So it's drive, draw to get our arms up into the air. Do it again, drive, draw, good, drive, draw, good. And we also talk about hips, shoulders, everything open to where the ball is coming from. We don't want to prepare our team to hit a ball, our individual player to hit a ball, flat to the net. We want to be open to the ball. That's where we're going to generate body power through the ball as well. So now they're ready to hit. We go from drive draw to the exchange. Drive draw, exchange. Drive draw, exchange. And it's good, keep that draw high. And hold up. Good. So one of the first things that we can get distracted by as a coach is we like to see people hit the ball hard, and so do they. And so I'm really interested in how high and hard they hit the ball. How fast is that exchange through the ball? And the exchange, go ahead and get to draw, please. The exchange is how she moves her left hand for her right hand, her left elbow for her right elbow. She's exchanging one arm for the other, one hand for the other, and the faster she makes that movement, and what I mean by faster, the longer she keeps her left hand here, the faster she can go with it, and then the faster she can go with her right hand as she goes to hit through that ball. So the exchange again is one arm for the other, one elbow for the other, one hand for the other, and one shoulder for the other as she hits through that ball. So let's see a good exchange again. Drive, draw, exchange, good. Now we're bringing high heat. Good, drive, draw, exchange, good, hold up, good. Now we're bringing high heat, not just hard, because when a player hears hard, the first thing they want to do is they want to jam their elbow down on the ball. And you'll watch this all the time when players are uh, warming up their arms before practice. You'll see them do this all the time. And they think they're doing themselves a favor, like they're actually triggering the right arm swing, but all they're doing is hitting the ball hard. And we want to be able to hit the ball high and hard because we have to go over the net, we have to go over the block, all of the height is more important to us even than the speed is. Hit the ball high, good things will happen. Hit the ball low, bad things happen no matter how hard it is. So again, drive, draw, and then working with a fast exchange. Both players can go here. Good, fast exchange. Good, hold up. Good. So those are the technical cues that we work with with our team.